Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will go ahead with the third type of animal tissue that is muscular tissue. So what is muscular tissue? So what is muscular tissue? Tissues which are responsible for movements in the body. So till now we saw, first we saw epithelial tissue which forms the covering and lining of different parts of the body. Next was connective tissue which connects different parts of the body. Now muscular tissue is responsible for movements. We are able to move our hands, we are able to move our legs, we are able to breathe. So the heart beat, the movement involved. So all these internal and external movements which happen in our body is because of muscular tissue. So as you can see here, when we breathe in and breathe out, the contraction and relaxation which take place because of the movement of the diaphragm and the rib cage, that is also a kind of movement. So this movement is also because of the muscular tissue. So here we are going to talk about these movements. While cooking, we are moving our hands, right? When you are playing, again, there is so many movements. Movement of your legs, arms, jogging, doing exercise. Well, all these activities involve so much of movements in our body. And that is all controlled by muscular tissue. Right? So now we will look at... Now let us try to see how do muscular tissues cause movement. As I said, the muscles, what are they made up of? The muscle, muscular tissue rather, contains muscle fibers. And these muscle fibers are the main component which is responsible for causing movement. How? Because these muscle fibers contains contractile proteins, contractile, the name itself says that the proteins which can contract. So these proteins are capable of contraction and relaxation. And due to this contraction and relaxation, movement happens. So contraction and relaxation gives rise to movement. So what kind of movement am I talking about? Uh, look at this person. What is he doing? He is doing some sort of exercise using his hand, right? So what is happening? His hand is moving up and down, correct? That is how you do it. Here again, you can see this little girl playing football. So movement involves the movement of her legs. So how is this movement actually controlled? Now, if you basically look inside his hand, what are there? There are bones which are attached to each other in this way. These are the bones which are attached to each other and the bones are connected by ligaments. So this is your ligament. Again, the bones are connected to your muscles through the tendons. So that is how the connection is inside, right? Now what happens is there are some common junctions where the cells contract as a unit. Now when one cell contract, the neighboring cells are also stimulated to contract. For example, here you might have a muscle here and then you have a bone here like this. So what happens? Your muscular tissue is made up of contractile proteins. Now when the proteins contract and expand, since the proteins are present inside your muscles, so muscles come under muscular tissue. So inside this proteins are present. So let us suppose inside this proteins are present. Now when this uh, contracts and relaxes, what happens? Due to this connection, the bones also will move up and down. And due to this movement of bones, the overall movement takes place. Because bones are nothing but the skeleton. So if the bones move, our hands will also move. Correct? So that is how movement takes place. Now there are many different types of movements. There are few movements which happens as per our will. Let us suppose if I want to drink a glass of water. So I'll uh, fetch a glass of water. So the movement of my hand to fetch a glass of water is as per my will. I want to do it so I am doing it. But there are certain movements in our body which are not controlled by our will. For example, the beating of the heart. So if the heart stops beating, what will happen? 
you will not survive so it is not in our control if i say that okay heart starts beating okay heart stop beating so we cannot control that it happens at its own pace so depending on that muscular tissues are also classified into three types because why this differences arise between the movement of our hand and the movement of the heart that's because of the type of tissue they are made up of so there are three types of muscular tissue skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles so these are the three types of muscular tissue so let us look at each type of tissue one by one thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again